I thought JMU played well. You know, they started off um, hot. You know, we started off a little sluggish, and uh, they were able to build the lead. And in the second half, I thought, you know, we played well, but then they came back and made some timely shots. It's kind of, I got help from my teammates helping me on the defensive end, and they looking for me on the offensive end as well. Kind of just a momentum at the time, and they just build off of it and go, off, go from there. Lou worked for me for, I think, two years, maybe three. And, um, you know, we, we became tight at that, you know, going on road trips and things like that. And obviously, when you coach against somebody that you know, you have to try to prepare as best you can. But there's a, there's a little bit that, you know, you go through because it's a friend. We, we, we were careless at some times with the basketball. I think we took some ill-advised shots at times. And we've, we've got to get back to playing basketball like we were before. The defensive end dictates what we do rather than the offensive end. And right now, the offense has been the, uh, the focal point, and we got to get back to playing defense. I mean, probably could have passed the ball a little bit more, rebound, and defend as well. Okay, everything. Everything. You can fix everything. I thought there were some 50-50 balls that we didn't come up with. They got some, uh, some, some plays where they were able to get to the free throw line or second chance points, things like that. And in a close game, you know, you can't afford that. And we've got to be able to make free throws. You know, free throws, it comes down to getting stops and, and making free throws. We're going to get back to playing defense like, like we were before. That's when we were successful.